Lester Holt, Lester, it's great to see you. Uh, I wish uh, I missed uh, running into you in the elevators in the hallways at 30 Rock. How are you doing? How am I doing? My, my feeling right now, Jimmy, is I wake up every day. Um, when I know that I'm healthy, when I know the people in my life are healthy, then it's going to be a great day. And, you know, we, uh, we can't worry about, you know, tomorrow. Let's enjoy the day we have and, and press forward. But, uh, you know, a lot of sadness. We're dealing with a lot. Uh, are you doing, you're doing the show from home. Uh, is it tricky for you? Uh, where did you end up? I mean, is your wife setting up the lighting for you like my <laughs> wife is? Well, the, the engineers came and, and, you know, they set up a studio for me in my home office and, you know, I've got to do a bunch of stuff before the show. I've got to turn on different lights and then dial in so I can hear the control room and all kinds of stuff. But it's, it's the other stuff. All the interviews we're doing, you know, using Zoom. And we're always trying to find different places in the apartment. And my wife has become my, she's like my technical manager, my lighting director, my set designer. She heard <laughs> today. I said, I got to do an interview with uh, Jimmy Fallon. And she came in here and started arranging things and, you know, the, the lights and the bass. And <laughs> looks yeah. great, doesn't it? It, oh, by the way, you have a beautiful spread. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, we don't really live this way. The set, the set director did this. <laughs> you have to. I have to find the right corners. I'm like, okay, where are the kids not going to run through, and where the you know where's going to be the quietest. I mean, you have your kids are grown, so they're not going to interrupt your shop. But you do have, you do have someone there. Is Lucy there? Is your dog there? Is Lucy oh. here? She's oh. right here. <laughs> I know like, you, Lucy. She's oh, like my. being a little sweet, sweet and precious and sleeping. Let me tell you. In a few hours, when I get ready to do the news, she becomes a hellion in this apartment. And so I'm getting ready to do the news, and I hear, and she wants to play the ball at that time of day. So uh, my wife, along with being set decorator, lighting director, and technical manager, is also the dog handler. Uh, the <laughs> it's going to happen some night. Some night, it's going to be, good evening. Yeah, and you'll hear it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I saw uh, Stefan, who you know we also love. He, he's an anchor on a local NBC News. Um, posted a photo of his, his setup, which I want to say is in like a closet in his attic. Attic, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, and his, and he had his two babies, one behind the camera, one in front of the camera. He's like, future, uh, you know, uh, journalist, a future photographer. You know. it, it, it warmed my heart because it immediately, immediately made me think of a picture that uh, was taken when I was an anchor in Chicago at the uh, CBS station. And the two boys had come down uh, to the studio. And I took this picture on the set with them. And, you know, one of them, I clearly saw he had the bug for the camera. And, of course, that Stephanie went, went on into, into the news business. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was really heartwarming, you know, to, to, you know, to think back. God, I remember when you guys were little and we did pictures like that. And now there's my grandson. That's wild. Uh, while, you, while you've been covering this, you've been doing such a great job. I just want to thank you on behalf of... Thanks millions of people and uh, and that that turn to you and need some someone to, to give them the straight news and and kind of lift our spirits and you've been doing a great job Thank um you. it's wild because i know you're doing a a news nightly news for kids uh a thing it's on uh, it's on uh, youtube it's on peacock it's on nbc news and i i like it uh because i have a six-year-old and a five-year-old uh but just to see what all these kids are doing and, and also the questions they're asking yeah, they're asking such great questions. So we, this is kind of a lark. Someone, one of our senior producers said, hey, why don't we do a, uh, do a show for kids? And a bunch of us were like, yeah, why not? That sounds like a good idea. So we, we quickly put together one, and it, we had such a great feedback. We said, let's do some more. So we're doing them twice a week now. Uh, we let kids ask their questions, and our doctor comes on and answers it. We do stories of, inspiring stories of what some kids are doing, um, you know, with, you know to, to help make medical gear or deliver stuff. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, I saw it's one cool. kid at a 3D printer making masks for it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really cool, and I, I just think it's a great thing. So anyone who has kids, you're always looking for something to do, anything to do. Um, yeah. This is uh, actually a great thing for both of you, because I was getting some information as well. So it helped me. Cause they were well, asking, you have to come on and be a guest on our show someday. I'll do it, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm, <laughs> that's, I got <laughs> yeah, nothing else to do, right? <laughs> I'm here, absolutely, yeah. I, I do want to say quickly, though, the America's Heroes, the American Heroes thing you're doing, it's a segment you, you, you've been doing now. And I just want to say I love it because, gosh, if that's not one thing I'm getting from this is appreciating the people who we always kind of appreciate it. But I mean, but really, uh, I think sometimes just forget about it and you go, oh, I love them. Like, yeah. I, I think it's so great. Yeah, I mean, grocers and truck drivers and people operating buses and subways. I mean, these are, these are our heroes right now because without them, this economy would go to a total halt. It's a great, it's a great thing you're doing. Uh, we, we asked you if there's a charity that you'd like to uh, 
put a spotlight on. I know there's so many great charities, but you chose one that I love. It's God's Love We Deliver. Yeah, these are, these are some folks that uh, they've been around uh, since the, really the beginning of the AIDS crisis in the 80s and uh, delivering food to very sick people. And their mission has expanded, expanded. They're um, neighbors of mine. They're in my neighborhood. And I, in the mornings, I'll walk the dog and I'll see their trucks out there, you know, loading up food and taking it to people. So I wanted to give them a shout out. Um, I think it's great what they're doing. I'd love to support, you know, certainly a local charity. In this case, you know, one right down the street from me. Uh, Lester, thank you for taking the time for, uh, for, for me, but also thank you for doing what you're doing. You're doing amazing work. And we're all looking to you, and it's, it's got to be tough, and you're not showing a bit of sweat. So thank well, you so and thank much. You, thank you for giving us something to, to smile about and laugh about. You found, you know, I know it's not easy. You guys have found the, the perfect tone, and it, and it really lightens our spirits. So thank you. I can't wait to see you in person. And Lucy, what a good dog. You didn't bark the whole time. Yeah, yeah, you wait. You just wait. Oh. <laughs> Bye, buddy. <laughs> bye, bye. Thank you. Uh huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.